a tutorial here about our online giving option that we have at the church now. Many have asked about this, and this is now something available through our Breeze uh, church software that we use. You do not have to be enrolled in the church software to use this option. This is something that anybody can give to. Um, but if you are enrolled in the church software, this will be an option that you can use to give also, I believe, through your account as well. Uh, but if you would like to give to the church, I want to just walk you through a tutorial on how to do that, how to set that up for the first time, and hopefully that this will help give you the information that you need. First of all, what you do is you'll click in this link, agbc.breezechms.com. So that link right there is what you'll want to click into your computer for your search page and it will bring up this page to you right here. This will also be an option that we'll have on the website that we're going to add to a giving uh, page on the website. So you'll be able to click onto that and it will direct you uh, to here uh, eventually. But for right now, this is the option that we have. First thing that you'll want to do, again, is select this into your uh, search bar and then it'll bring you to this page and then select the amount that you'd like to give. Here we put just a dollar for the tutorial option here, but you can give whatever amount that you want to give and then you can click what you'd like to give towards. So all of these things that you want to give, mission, scripture, tithe, building fund, benevolence, any of those things that you would like to give towards. And then you can add another uh, option to give. If you click the add gift to another fund, and then you can split that up into multiple options. So this is great for if you're giving your tithe, and if you're also wanting to give to missions, you can do that as well. Here you can click remove fund, so that way you go back to just one option. If you accidentally click that, you can always remove that and then go back to this here. Uh, something just to note, if you add another fund, then it will automatically want you to put in a, a, a numerical uh, number here, uh, or a numerical option, excuse me, and if you click continue, there's not something there, it'll say missing amount. If you are not putting an amount there, you've got to remove that and only have one fund that you're giving towards, and then you can continue. Uh, the next thing you click here is give how often. You can give one time, weekly, every two weeks, uh, give this month, uh, give monthly, or give yearly, and select whatever option that you like to do there. So if you want to make a recurring uh, gift, you can do that as well, and it'll automatically do that for you. Uh, then you click what option to give as, either a debit card or you can do by a direct bank transfer. So if you're not wanting to put your uh, debit and credit card information there, you can do it by a bank transfer um, and do it that way. Uh, all of this is through uh, Breeze, uh, which is a secure website. Uh, so that's the option, the two options that you have there. So I'm going to click continue. It'll take you to this page. Uh, you want to put in your name, you want to put in your email. Uh, I'm not going to put in my info uh, right now, but if you, you'll put in your card number, uh, the, 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 uh, the date there, expiration, your CVC code, address, all of those things there. Then what I would ask you to do is that you'd also select this. This is add this amount to cover the processing fee. If you do an ACH transfer, it's $0.26. Cents. If you do a credit card, it's $0.34. Cents. And you click that option, and that will add 34 cents to cover the fee of doing that. And so, if everybody will uh, allow that option uh, onto your uh, your giving, so that way it covers the processing fee for that. If you decide that you'd like to give this way, then you'll hit the give uh, button, and it will automatically uh, populate a another page there that will say thank you for giving, and it will send you a receipt to the email that you provided to let you know that that has been taken care of and that we received that and then you were done. So it's very simple, very easy to do. So again, click to this link and it will bring you to this web page. Follow those prompts and a very user friendly, easy to do and that will take care of that and you can set up the online giving. So I hope that that's a blessing to you for those that would like to use that. And if you uh, don't, you can still use uh, the, the, uh, the envelope system that we have at the church. We'll continue to have our regular offerings as we do. But if you prefer to use an online giving option, you can do that as well, and that's available. Thank you very much. God bless you. We love you.